Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Before I get into today's video, I just want to say that everything in this video is alleged and it is my own personal opinion, okay? So earlier this morning, Tamika from Escape came forth to expose her sister, Tasha, okay? And Tasha's trifling ass husband, in my opinion, Rocky Bivens. She said that this was going to be her last time talking about the situation, which is the money that they allegedly stole from her because she don't want to do it. And she only came forth today with her receipts because her sister and her sister's trifling ass husband is out here calling her a liar. OK, so she wanted to clear her name. And as far as I'm concerned, it's clear. I believe her for what it's worth. So I'm going to go ahead and play you the audio from Tamika's video where not only. OK. Is she showing the documents that proves that her name was forged? But she also shows the document that was allegedly signed by Rocky, okay? And she has footage of Tiny's mama, Miss Diane is her name, I believe, letting people know how the checks came about as well, okay? How they were led to find out where the checks were actually sent, all right? Um, there was also a threatening text message that was sent to Tamika, all right? She said that Rocky sent it to her. Um, so. I'm going to read you guys that as well. But first, I want to play this audio for you. It's about 18 minutes. For those of you who have already heard it or seen Tasha's video, you know, um, or just wish to hear my commentary, you can always fast forward the video. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and play this and I'll return afterwards. Hello. How y'all doing today? I am here and I want to talk to you about something very important. This is something that I am going to discuss only one time. So after today, please don't ask me any questions. Please reporters, please don't DM me, please, please, please. I don't wanna talk about this anymore. I don't, I don't want to do this. I really, really, truly in my heart do not want to do this, but I don't have a choice. My sister is online saying that I'm lying. She did a video saying, oh, you know how she lied because I said the things that I said about Candy to protect her. She was calling me, crying in the phone, talking about a book Jermaine wrote, crying, saying Candy said she broke up the group. So I went to defend my sister and I said a whole bunch of things about Candy and I apologized, all right? So now she wants to hold that over my head and say that I'm lying about the money that was stolen from me, my royalties that were stolen from me. And she wanted an apology. So now, I guess I'll just wait on my apology. Let me tell you something. She's not going to get an apology. And after I finish revealing what I'm about to reveal, I don't want an apology from her because I'm not vain like that. I'm not vain. I don't need an apology. I just need you to go somewhere and repent and ask God to forgive you and your husband who's out here being trifling, lying on me and my other group members, sending threat text messages from an anonymous number, but then turn around and do a video and say the same thing that's in the threat text. Girl, you and your husband got to be the most simplest criminals in the world. How are you going to send me a threat text? And let me explain with the text. I will put it up here so you guys can see it. And, you know, I might even share the video where she's saying things that's in the text. So I got a threat text about me, Tiny, and Candy, all right? First of all, her husband says that I sent him naked pictures. And he says something about Tiny, and he says something about Candy that I'm not going to say, which are all lies. You see what the big the big news is, right? About you still, still in the $30,000? No, about, now the news is, uh, Tamika, my sister-in-law, was sending me naked pictures. Uh, Todd sucking a tranny's dick. And tiny in trouble. That oh, that's about to be the biggest news today. So, you know, people, you know, that girl you got coming over there with security for what? Like, you, uh, damn, Tasha. Let, I wish let I me ask you this real quick. He's a devil. He's evil. A lot of stuff has happened over the years where I have protected my sister and her husband because I wanted a family. I didn't want to be an outcast. I didn't want them not to love me anymore. So I took a lot of things, not just off of them, but also off my mom. So I did not want to be out here without love. So of course I let things ride, but to have that thrown back in my face, my loyalty to my family, and for you to say that I'm a liar when y'all are around here trying to extort me, 
and you're sitting here threatening me, saying that I need to apologize and say I made a mistake. No, I didn't make no mistake. Ms. Diane already explained to everybody that she signed all of us up for sound exchange. Well, I signed Escape, every one of them, up for sound exchange. And um, I, I sent all the paperwork. And Tamika, I, I, I did Latasha, everybody. And Tamika told me when, she, when we filled out the paperwork, her she was living in New York then. Mm -hmm. and, and I still have the paperwork. And I filled it out and I put it, her address was all in New York and everything. He, Tamika, my, my Tamika had gotten her checks and it was a pretty big check then. I'm thinking it was like close to $20,000 the first time. They got a lot of checks though. And Tamika said, I didn't get my checks. And I said, well, you should have. I said, cause Tamika's gotten several checks already. And so we called up to Sound Exchange. Me and Tamika was on the line and we talked to, this guy's name was Joe Mo Grady. I think he's passed away, but back then, he was the person we talked to. And he talked to Tamika and she asked him questions about her checks. And he told her that her checks were going to Hampton, Georgia. And so after that, she said, well, I live in New York. How did this happen? And he sent her copies of the checks. Mm -hmm. I yep. mean, yeah, so he, sent, I just, he sent copies. He said something about your sister and Rocky. Mm -hmm. Oh, Edward Bivens, because I really didn't know Rocky's name. Right, he said Edward, Edward Bivens, Bivens cash your checks. But how was I supposed to get my money back? The only way you could get your money back is you had to prosecute him. And you said, I don't want to do that. Once we did do the investigation, well, they did. They sent information. Someone sent in, which was my sister. And I will be put, showing that in a second. She changed the contract and put um, her name on the contract saying that she was my manager. And I, you're going to see that in a second. And then they put my, uh, they sent my passport. It was a lot of I stuff. I know he said, you know, that they, that they had proof. They thought it was you and everything. And, but there's only reason that, that you couldn't get your money back is you would have to prosecute them. No one has a reason to lie. And you're going to see with the receipts. And yeah. if it wasn't for Ms. Diane, none of us, me, Candy, my sister, Tiny, nobody would have gotten these checks from Sound Exchange. If it wasn't for you finding out about that royalty. Well, see, we my husband with the Tams, I signed them up, and I, that's how I found out about it. And our business managers in New York told me about it. So that's kind of how I knew about Sound, Sound Exchange. Thank you for, for doing that because we've all... We still getting checks today. That's good. <laughs> Get them checks. Yes, love you. Thank and I you. love Tasha still. I mean, I I love her. I mean, you know, I would never lie on none of y'all. I, I love y'all. I know. Y'all my babies. Somehow, my information was changed and sent to Sound Exchange. Now, when my sister was asked about Sound Exchange, she acted like she didn't know what I was talking about. So I'm not gonna do too much, but I will clear my name. I will show you a few pieces of evidence that shows how they went in and they changed my address to their address. How they changed my email. Everything that Diane, Miss Diane did was changed by my sister, Latasha Scott. That will give you evidence. Now, the misconception is the 30,000, it wasn't one check. It was multiple checks. It wasn't just one. So I was very nice. I was being very nice to say that only 30,000 was, was stolen from me. I was very nice to say only 30,000 was taken from me, stolen from me rather. So you want your apology? How about I give them proof what you did? Just a little bit, not a lot. I'm not trying to bury you. You just need to stop being out here say, saying these false things, you and your husband, these threats and everything else. Mm -mm. It's not gonna work. Oh yeah, one of the threats were that my tape, I have a sex tape that I did. Yes, when I was in my 20s, I did a sex tape. So, you know, I didn't wanna take it back to my house, so I gave the tape to my sister and told her to hold it. So, you know, I can watch it every now and then, you know, I just got to be honest with you. I was, I was looking good on the tape, but, uh, anyway, 
I gave it to my sister. So I went back to get it. She said someone stole it out of her safe. So I said, okay, well, who got the safe code? Who got the code to your safe? She said only her and her husband. But somebody stole my tape. Now I'm about to be blackmailed by them. If I don't apologize, they're going to put the tape out. This is what the text says. So, you know what? You're not going to scare me. You got my tape, but you said you didn't have my tape. Now all of a sudden you want to extort me and put the tape out? <laughs> and you're doing a gospel album. Hmm. Let's talk about that. So, at the beginning of last year, my grandmother and my mom all were saying they wanted me and my sister to do a gospel album. So, the management at the time went and I sat down with her and she said that Motown Records offered me and my sister a, a gospel deal, right? So, my sister came up to my house March of last year, came up, spent the night, got snowed in, we were singing, we were cooking, having a good time. But it was a scratch in the record when I told her that we need to split everything down the middle. We need to write everything. We need to create everything together. And all of a sudden, she was she was outraged. She was like, well, this is what I do. I do music. I do music. You can do screenplays and you can write plays and movies, but I'm the singer in the family. So me and my husband was looking like, what just happened here? We're sitting here talking about a, a deal, a gospel deal for us. And she just went bananas i'm the singer i'm this i write i do this so in uh, between all that eyes i was tired from cooking and cleaning i fell asleep on her butt but when i fell asleep my husband said she kept talking he walked out she was just mad so when she left my house she never mentioned it again and now she posted receipts on her thing saying that rocky got us the deal but if you look real real close to the paperwork like i did i screenshot it and read it, it says, dear, whatever the guy name was, she was asking questions. She said, she said, uh, what was his name? The manager, Rocky, and I. So the and I was not Rocky. It was the lady who sat down with us and told us who she got us the deal. Our old management. <laughs> so how did Rocky get us the deal? I'm just so sick and tired of her praising him like he's God. It's like she want him to be this big, okay, so we can stay focused. <laughs> They focused, but he did not get us the deal. I'm sure he he was the one to talk her out of it, of both of them, because it's how you steal my money and steal our gospel deal. Oh, and it gets, y'all, it gets better. Check this out. So I have people calling me, sending me. I'm in church. This is the crazy thing about it. I'm in church and I got a text. And somebody said, what's going on with this? So evidently, if you go on your cable network and you look up uh, a show, Underneath the show will tell you who the actors are or who the people are that's on the show. Someone has went and replaced my pictures with my sister. So not only did you steal money and our gospel album that we told grandmama that we were going to do, but now if you all go look, now me, my image is gone and is replaced with her pictures. Yeah, it's just a lot of cricket stuff that has happened. And it's some something about Todd, he said in the text. But it's crazy because things that were in that threat text, when my sister did her interview on her bus, dogging everybody out, talking about candy, talking about I lied, certain things that were in that threatened text was in what she said. Wow. They mentioned a tattoo that only she knew about. They mentioned the sex tape that mysteriously disappeared. They mentioned pictures that was never sent to him when he cracked my door and phone by saying he was my ex-husband. They are evil, evil people, but I'm not going to allow you to keep sitting out here and giving false narrative about me. I've, I've had your back. I was stupid. I did things and you throw it in my face and you want to do a video say, oh, you know how she is. I, 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 I owned up to that. When I was wrong, I apologize. This time, I'm not wrong. The evidence is here. I'm not talking about this anymore after this. Now the world knows that you are a liar that is doing a gospel album. <laughs> Thief. Stealing from the church. Stealing from your sister. Stealing my identity. But what you won't do is steal my pride. Go ahead. 
flick the tape that you said you lost. Go ahead, embarrass your niece. Go ahead, because you really don't care nothing about them because you wouldn't never stole from them in the beginning. Go ahead and watch what God does. God don't play about me. I don't hurt nobody. I don't do nothing. And the thing I did about candy, I was in my late 20s. We're almost 50 years old. And you still holding it over my head. But I'm glad that she forgave me. But I forgive you. As I did before. Never meant to mention it. I was just pushed in a corner. Because you tried to destroy me in that first scene. But hey. It's life. And like you said. We're sisters. But not by choice. Words are powerful. And I'm starting to listen. It's a difference between hearing and listening. And I'm listening. Well, I love you. But what you won't do is make me look like a liar. Mm -mm. I've grown from my mistakes. And I've learned. And I'm not letting nobody put nothing over my head of my past. But you, ma'am, don't have to apologize to me. Go apologize to God and apologize to my nephew and apologize to my children. God bless you, girl. Repent. Because one day we're going to see God and we're going to have to give account for everything that we're doing. Oh, you're doing gospel. That's right. So you, you know this. And I hate this. This is so petty. It's so childish, but it's so necessary. Keep my name out your mouth. God bless you, sis. And world, I will give you an apology because this right here is so it's so dumb. This is probably like 10 minutes of your life that you can't get back because of some childish sister stuff that's going on by my sister and, and I. So I apologize to you for this mess. This is not the life that we're supposed to show. We're supposed to show a life of forgiveness, a life of love. God did not give us this platform for this. And I apologize for us misusing this platform. And I will not talk about this ever again. Pray for us. I love you. Thank you for your support. And again, to my fans, I apologize for this buffoonery that we've taken you through. It stops here. I have nothing else to say now. I've given you the proof. So now you know who's lying and who's not. Now, back to the real world. Back to who we are now. Back to us. So, we have, what, two more episodes left for this show? And I know y'all been rocking with me because I've been getting DMs. I've been getting good messages. I've been getting mean messages. But that just goes to show that y'all rocking with us. Thank you. Thank you for watching and giving us that support. You know, we're trying to figure things out. And I know people say, oh, y'all too old for that. But really? Is it a such thing as being too old? It means you can't make mistakes when you're older. We're trying to figure it out, y'all. And I know we're too talented for this booth on the We're too talented for this mess. Yes, we are. So we're getting ready to start bringing you some music. We're going to give you some music. If that's if y'all still want to rock with us. Because, huh? I don't know. <laughs> Cause it's been a crazy roller coaster. Y'all didn't deserve this, all right? So we're gonna get y'all some music. Make sure y'all come to the shows. It'll just be three of us. You can see me, Candy, and Tiny doing our thing on stage. You know, that wasn't by our choice. You know, it just, you know, things happen. But when you get lemons, you make lemonade, and that's what we had to do. We're gonna continue to make lemonade. We're gonna add a little strawberry and everything else to that. <laughs> All right, y'all, I don't talk y'all enough, and I just had to share some things with y'all, let you know what's going on. But this blackmail and extortion and the lying and the stealing, it's off me. A weight has been lifted, and now I can live in the truth, not my truth. The truth is a difference. So, um, love you guys. Keep kicking it with us. In our dysfunction. <laughs> so, y'all, first I want to start out by saying, Rocky, you ugly. Now let that marinate. You're fucking ugly. And ugly people sometimes do ugly shit. 
Okay, unfortunately. Latasha, if you're listening, this little weasel looking ass nigga is going to be your downfall in my opinion. That's why he fought so hard to get her, y'all, in my opinion, because he knew that she had self-esteem issues and insecurities, okay? Um, probably saw her as weak, which would allow him to get into her head and manipulate her into doing whatever it was that he wanted her to do, including turn on her own fucking sister. Because niggas like that love to alienate you from those that love you so they can have complete control. No doubt about it, he controls Natasha. He probably got her thinking, you know, she can't do anything without him and that nobody is going to love her like he will. All that, all that bullshit. That's what niggas like him do. Plus, never trust a nigga who done been up under R. Kelly, in my opinion. That nigga going to be in jail for the next hundred years and Rocky just might end up sharing a cell with his ass, okay? Since he like to steal, threaten bitches and pull out guns on folks. You know what I mean? Latasha's out here trying to promote her gospel album that nobody is going to buy, by the way, in my opinion, because theft and gospel music don't go together. She got on Fox Soul uh, the other day, okay? Cocktails with Queens and said that she would give Tasha, not Tasha, she would give Tamika $30,000 and that it wasn't about the money. It was about her talking to everybody else and not talking to her. But how exactly is Tamika supposed to talk to her if she changed her phone number? And the only person who got her phone number is the fifth member of the group, which is her mama. But she on the show saying that she has reached out to Tamika on multiple occasions. And I'm like, you sure about that? Because I doubt it. Tasha made a video on her tour bus, okay? I believe where, where it sounded like she was reading a script put together by Rocky. Cause like Candy said, she probably can't do or say shit without Rocky's assistance. But in the video, Tasha was calling her sister a liar. And Tamika wasn't going cause she knows that she got receipts to prove what she said about her money. And instead of shutting the fuck up and paying her sister the money back, she wants to try to convince everybody that her sister Tamika is lying. Receipts don't lie. And if Tamika wanted to, she could use those same receipts to prosecute her and her ugly ass husband if she wanted to. It's not too late, but she loves her sister and she don't want to do that. She said in the video that there's a lot more that she can put out there, but she's not trying to bury her sister. She just want to let it be known who the real liar is and it ain't her. So being that Latasha is Rocky's meal ticket and Latasha has an album dropping on Good Friday, Rocky is out here threatening Tamika with his retarded ass, okay? Allegedly. He wants her to apologize to Tasha, okay? I'm guessing so people will go ahead and buy her album and his name will be clear, but that's not going to happen. How the fuck this nigga going to send threats to a bitch through text? OK, and then get his ass on the phone call with Tasha K and recite the same shit that he sent in a threatening text to his wife's sister, therefore incriminating himself. Dumbass. Then Tamika also said that Tasha was also reciting some of the shit that was in a threatening text message. You know what I'm saying? That proved that Latasha was in on the shit as well. Latasha wants Tamika to apologize to her publicly like she did Candy on stage, y'all. Ain't going to happen because the only one that should be apologizing, in my opinion, is her and her husband. It's like, bitch, you can hang that album of yours. Hang it up flat screen style because ain't nobody about to buy that shit. You sitting up here letting that ugly ass nigga you married to ruin your career and your relationship with your sister. That nigga don't want her to have anybody in her corner but him because it's easier that way to manipulate her. I wouldn't be surprised. If the money being stolen, if the, if the money that was stolen, the threats, all that was Rocky's idea. And because Tasha is so brainwashed by him, probably she just going along with it. You know, even, even against her own sister, Tasha said in that video that she made on her tour bus that when she said her vows, she meant it. But the question is, did Rocky mean his vows? Cause from what we can see, the only person Rocky loving and protecting is himself. He out here doing everything that that hole with the blue lipstick said he doing. But he worried about what Todd doing. He worried about what Candy's husband Todd is doing. Worry about Todd's dick. The only dick he need to be worried about is his, okay? And hope that that motherfucker don't fall off while he fucking Tasha. Because word is, he out here sticking his shit in everything that moves, including those bed bugs that he probably done brought home to Tasha, okay? That's probably why Tasha can't be a good sister to Tamika because she itching. That nigga probably done took Tasha money and spent it on ABs, trips for other bitches, BBLs, you know what I'm saying? Bags and no telling whatever else. Okay. 
So y'all, Tamika said that Rocky has threatened to release a sex tape of hers, okay? If Tasha don't get that apology that she's waiting for. I'm going to read to you the text he sent her, according to Tamika, okay? Because Tamika posted it in the video. It said, Tamika, I have a question for you. Which allegation is worse to the media? Accusing your sister of stealing 30K or you texting and sending naked pictures to your sister's husband? We just got our hands on pictures and messages. So we're going to do you a favor and let you apologize to your sister and your mom like you did Candy, who set you up in the first place. So now they're trying to make it seem like Candy has something to do with this. Just fucking disgusting. This is the work of Rocky, in my opinion. And he got Tasha going along with this shit because he got a mind, in my opinion. He sounds just like those guys that work close with R. Kelly, okay? And they threatened R. Kelly's victims. But let me continue. He also said, we have a video of you having sex with someone in 2016 and you can thank the person that's suing you for that. So he thinking that he's about to destroy Tamika's marriage, okay? When Tamika said that that sex tape was made damn near, what, 30 years ago in her 20s? But I'm sure his ugly criminalistic ass, in my opinion, done altered the video to make it seem like it was made in 2016 while she was married to her current husband. So he says that if you don't apologize, we'll send all info to the media and your Kevin Costner husband, okay? And for those of you who don't know, Kevin Costner is the bodyguard that played in, uh, uh, the bodyguard, the Whitney Houston movie. Okay. He is such a bitch ass, corny ass nigga as in, uh, Rocky y'all. He knows that Kevin, uh, not Ke He knows that, um, uh, Tamika's husband does security and he's probably Tamika's bodyguard as well. So he want to fuck with him. Okay. Rocky is such a bitch ass nigga. In my opinion, he then says that if you think it's a joke, don't apologize. You'll be defending yourself to your children, your husband and the world but you're not going to have to face shame by yourself. There's a video of Todd sucking a trans dick. So in the midst of all this, y'all, he's working, he, he's also worrying about, you know, uh, Todd and whoever. It, it's just the fucking craziness for me, okay? Y'all, he hate the other husbands because he ain't them. He's in fact a piece of shit who have, he has to threaten people to feel like he's some big shit when he ain't shit. When it comes to that tape, Tamika ain't got to defend shit when it comes to us because we don't give a fuck. What she does in her bedroom is her motherfucking business. And just because you release it, don't mean we got to watch it. And her daughters definitely don't give a fuck because they're going to ride with their mama no matter what. And I'm sure her husband knows that she ain't cheat on him. This nigga is just what Tamika said he is, the fucking devil. And here's the thing. As you all heard in Tasha's video, Tasha said that when she was in her 20s, that's when she made the sex tape. She didn't want to bring it home. So she asked her sister Tasha to keep it because she trusted her sister with it. Okay. Apparently when Tamika asked her for the tape, Tasha told her that someone had stolen it. Tasha had it locked in her safe, a safe that nobody had to lock to but her and her ugly ass husband, Rocky. So if Tasha telling Tamika that someone stole the tape and now here Tasha's ugly ass husband is threatening Tamika with the very tape her sister told her was stolen. How does that make Tasha look like a motherfucking liar? And he don't give a fuck because he wants to look out for himself. Tasha's album is, you know, her album not selling means no money for him. You know what I'm saying? So he's trying to force Tamika to apologize. And if she don't, he's threatening to send the sex tape to the media. He wants Tamika to tell the public that she was lying. You know what I'm saying? Just like she did when she made those accusations about Candy regarding Candy being a hoe and fucking on Jermaine Dupree and his daddy and whoever else. Tamika admitted that she lied back then, okay? She said that happened in her 20s as well, like 30 damn years ago, okay? And they still trying to hold that shit over her head. Okay. And the only reason she did that shit was for Tasha. But anyway, Tamika admitted that she lied about that and she apologized and Candy forgave her. Okay. But now Tasha want to use that against her and try to paint her out as a habitual liar when she was lying for her ass. So she and her ugly ass husband is using Tamika's loyalty against her as she stated. And I don't know what Tiny have to do with this because Tiny is the person that Tasha was cool with. But, you know, he talking shit about Tiny as well, about Tiny getting in trouble. And it's like, only a bitch ass nigga will keep throwing out threats. Nigga, put your money where your shitty mouth is. Oh, you ain't got no money. 
It all belongs to your wife, you fucking bum. And it wasn't just one check, y'all, that was stolen. It was multiple checks amounting to over $30,000. It wasn't just $30,000. It was over that. Tamika was just trying to spare them. But they, you know, stupid asses ain't got enough sense to just go shut the fuck up and quietly pay her her fucking money back. On Cocktails with Queens, Tamika said that, not Tamika, Tasha said that she would give Tamika $30,000, but she wanted her to talk to her. And what she meant, in my opinion, by wanting Tamika to talk to her, okay, she wanted Tamika to recant her story and basically come out and say that she lied about that money. So Tamika will look bad and not her. She already trying to paint her out to be a habitual liar anyway, when that would be her cheating and thieving ass husband. And her ass too, because Tamika said that Tasha changed all of her personal information so that, th so that those checks would come to where she was living at at the time. But her husband wanted to try to put out the narrative that, you know, there was some confusion and that, you know, they got the sisters mixed up. No, they didn't. You alien head, jug head ass liar. He wanted to call the whole he was fucking a fraud, but probably done taught her everything she knows. Because a fraud is exactly what the fuck he is, in my opinion. Tasha, your ass better sit the fuck down somewhere and be thankful that you can sit on that tour bus right about now. Because if you was anybody else, sister, your ass would have been in prison braiding bitches' hair and washing their dirty ass underwear. You gonna steal her money and then go on a she's lying campaign, okay? Girl, bye. Your jaw would have been as big as that check you stole. And her husband want to bring up, you know, Tamika's sex tape when the truth of the matter, in my opinion, okay, is that he probably been watching the sex tape every night, every fucking night. First, he want to lie and say Tamika sent him nude photos, okay, of herself. Then he want to send a threatening text message to release her sex tape, which, by the way, is illegal. Revenge porn is a crime, you ugly ass bastard. You probably been getting a hard on from her sex tape and now you want to use it against her to get an apology out of her for some shit you and your crazy ass fucking wife actually did, in my opinion. Allegedly. So they can release, you know, that shit if they want to, but their ass is going to end up in prison, especially Tasha, because the tape was in her possession. But then again, you know, Tamika don't want to throw her sister in prison, which is why, you know, she and her husband are comfortable talking as much shit as they talking because she know that Tamika don't want to put, you know, her ass in jail. So even if they put that tape out, Tamika going to take that hit. But it's like that tape was made when Tamika was in her 20s. She like 50 now. The most they going to do with that tape is embarrass Tamika because as we all know, she has kids. But it's not like she made the sex tape while she was uh, married and she out here cheating on her husband because the only one who's out here cheating is Rocky with his dirty dick ass, in my opinion. And what I tell y'all, what I tell y'all, in my last video about this, I said that, you know, that nigga Rocky probably hacked her phone and got some news that she had in it, okay? And tried to lie and say that she sent it to him. Tamika said in this video that Rocky cracked her phone by telling them that the phone, by telling them that um he was her ex-husband. She ain't sent him shit. And of course, you know, we already knew that niggas like Rocky think that they just so fucking smart and they never fail to show us how motherfucking dumb they are. So he's just out here doing all kinds of shit. And Tasha is riding with him, not realizing that any man that truly loves you is not going to be OK with you being at odds with your family, especially someone as close as your sister. If anything, OK, a real man and a real husband is going to try to bring y'all together. Or at least encourage you to make it right. Rocky is encouraging bullshit. He don't give a fuck about nobody but himself. You know what I'm saying? He gonna go down eventually. And Tasha gonna go with his ass. But there's only so much a bitch can take. You know, if they push Tamika far enough, she just may press charges. I feel bad for Tamika. But don't no good come to you when, you know, you dirty. So Tasha and Rocky, they ain't gonna get nowhere. They ain't going to get no motherfucking wear. And Tasha, you ain't shit. You don't never let no nigga come in between you and your family. Your family going to be there when his ass ain't. But since you his meal ticket, he going to always be there until you decide to get rid of his disgusting, trifling, dirty ass. Rocky nigga, you alien head bastard. You already look like you belong on another planet. Keep threatening people, okay? And a motherfucker going to send you there, in my opinion. 
with your jughead ass. And even though they've stolen from her, lied on her, and threatened her, uh, Tamika said that she still loves her sister, and I believe that she does. Because they stole that money many years ago, like, what, 10 years ago, I believe, when she was pregnant with her youngest daughter? And she never said shit to Tasha about it until now, probably because she was just so hurt and wanted to pretend like the shit didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? And while she's stealing money from her sister, money that she and her husband, uh, money that she probably felt like she and her husband was entitled to, Tasha may be out of money her damn self if any of those paternity tests come back naming her ugly ass husband as the pappy, okay? His child support would also be her child support. While she out here treating her sister like a bitch who done stole her lemon pepper wings, Dr. Pepper, and then went outside and unallowed her motherfucking dog. That's your sister, bitch. Don't let rock your old rockhead ass make you forget that. Whatever spell he got you under, you better climb from up under it before you be sitting in a cell, okay? A jail cell on a hard-ass bed, rocking back and forth, talking about all my life I had to fight. And that's all I got to say about this. Y'all take care and I'll chat with y'all in the next one.